guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming a what's in my bag video for you. This video was requested by a couple of my viewers. So I thought that I would go ahead and get it filmed for you and hopefully get it posted. Um, I've been having some difficulty posting stuff lately. I have been able, uh, I've been having problems getting it to upload to YouTube. So I don't know if it's my internet or if it's YouTube or what. So anyway, we'll see if it gets posted or not. And um, I've already actually filmed this once today and I had to refilm it, um, which is what I'm doing now, because when I went back to review the footage, I didn't realize that I was chewing on a piece of gum in the video. Oh my God, it was so, I was so annoyed with myself when I started watching it and I was like, what the hell? I'm chomping on a piece of gum. Like that's something that I would start watching. If another YouTuber was doing that, I would have started watching and been like, what the hell? I can't watch this broad. And I would have clicked out of the video. So I was just like, okay, I have to completely refilm this. This is horrible. So that's what I'm doing now. So anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and get into it. I don't want this video to be super long and they always end up being long anyway, but the bag that I'm doing a video on today is my Speedy 30 Bandelier version. As you can see, it's the monogram print. I have a Michael Kors fur puff on the front of it. If you've watched my previous videos and you've seen this puff probably several times, and I have my bag unzipped. I usually leave my bags open. If I have a bag that zips or snaps shut or whatever, I typically leave it open because I don't know, I just like the ease of being able to get into my bag and get stuff out. The only time I really ever close my bags is if I'm in an area where I feel like it might be easy for someone to reach into my bag and get something out. But if I don't feel like I'm in any kind of threat of my stuff being taken or my personal space being invaded, I don't close my bags. So anyway, um, I've had this bag for probably about maybe a month now, maybe, maybe about a month. And I've been using it for about two weeks straight now. Um, it has started to develop a little bit, of, a little bit of a patina, which I'm glad for because I don't like it when the vaquetta on monogram bags is super stark white. I like it when it starts getting that really rich honey golden color, uh, and you just don't have to worry so much about it. So anyway, so this is what the inside of my bag looks like. This is the current situation here. It is very full. And so I'm going to go ahead and just get started because if not, then we might be here all day. So the very first thing on top is my pair of MCM sunglasses. Uh, Nordstrom Rack is currently having a sale on their luxury designer sunglasses. So I went online and anybody who knows me knows that I'm a sucker for sunglasses. I love sunglasses and I especially love luxury brands. So uh, I found these MCM sunglasses and another pair that I'll show you in a second. But this one uh, has a really nice case and it has the MCM metal logo on the front there. And when you open it up, it has this beautiful, like a goldenrod color um, or like a, I don't know, it's kind of like a cognac color on the inside as well. And it just says MCM. And here are the sunglasses. It came with a little rag as well. And this is a very bulky case though. So that's the only thing. And this is what the glasses look like. They're very pretty. They're kind of like a round, big round cat eye. And this is what the sides look like. They just have the little metal MCM emblem on them. And I'll see if I can put them on and show you. I need to get them adjusted because they're a little bit wide, but this is what they look like. I really, really like these sunglasses. And I like the fact that they're big and they cover a lot of your face because then, you know, if I wanted to go out and I didn't want to put on makeup or something, I can still, you know, I can still look nice if I have my sunglasses on. So that's the first thing in my bag. The second thing in my bag is I have these hand wipes. These are not the antibacterial kind because as you know, those are like mission impossible to find right now. Um, but I do have hand wipes in here so that you can just clean your hands off. 
The next thing I have in my bag is my uh, Louis Vuitton key pouch. This is in the Damier Graffite print. This is from the men's line. And I really like this one because it has the silver hardware on it and it's polished. It's not the matte kind that is on the women's zippers. Um, and then in here, I just keep different uh, gift cards and stuff. Or discount cards most of the most of these are gift cards of some sort and then it has the little uh, clasp and I just keep it inside because I don't hang this on anything and I don't use it for keys so this is just gift cards right here the next thing in my wall oh, in my wallet in my bag is okay so I have this little Dooney and Burke change purse this is very old you might have seen it in one of my other what's in my bag videos uh, I have had this Dooney and Burke case or pouch for probably about 16 or 17 years. It's older than my son. Uh, it's just leather and I love Dooney and Burke's little emblem. I love their duck emblem. This was their traditional original emblem right here. And then on the interior, it's just a raw leather. And I use this for change because I don't like to put change in my wallets because change is just really nasty and dirty. And I don't like keeping it in my wallet. And usually what I'll do is when I get home, I'll empty this out into like a little piggy bank that I have. And then I just put this back in my purse. The next thing I have in here is my, this is my toiletry pouch in the size 15. It's very small and compact. This is a made in Spain piece. And I bought this when I bought my Neverfull MM in the monogram with the red interior. So I haven't had this for very long, but I just use this for some makeup essentials like my uh, compact mirror, which has a lion on it with the zodiac signs. Um, it's for Leo because my birthday's in August. And I have dental floss, I have some Benefit Highlight. I have oil blotting sheets, and these are just the Walmart brand. I have this little bitty tiny deodorant. Uh, the brand is Native. You can get these at Walgreens, and I love carrying this around because it's uh, it's better than carrying around like this big, huge deodorant, and it's actually a pretty good size because this entire section right here is deodorant. So. It's the perfect travel deodorant and it is natural. And then I have my flower bomb perfume in case I leave the house and forget to put perfume on. And then I also have like some eyeliners and my little lighter down here. This lighter has been in pretty much every what's in my bag video. Still have it cause I never use it. It hasn't ran out yet. So I'll just put that stuff back in here for now. There went the highlight. Okay, I hope I can find that after so I can put it back in my bag. I'll find it eventually. Okay, the next thing in my bag is my Louis Vuitton mini pochette. I've had this one for um, a while now. It was one of my first SLGs that I purchased. And these are really hard to get your hands on, but I will say if you can get your hands on one, definitely do so because this is a perfect starter piece if you are trying to delve into the world of Louis Vuitton and you just want to get a taste for it, see how you like the brand and, you know, the quality of it. Everyone says that the little key pouches are the perfect starter piece, but I disagree because really you can only put your keys on here or use it as like a little card pouch or something. This is so much uh, more useful, in my opinion, because you can use it as like a little bag, a little clutch. Um, you can use it to go out to the club if you want to. I mean, I'm not clubbing because my clubbing days are over, but you know, if you go to the club still, you can use this. It won't fit your phone, but it will fit all your other essentials. And most of the time, I, f I feel like everybody carries their phone in their hand anyway, or puts it in their pocket. So yeah. So this is perfect. Um, this is a made in France piece. Yeah, this is a made in France piece. And I use this as my little toiletry pouch. So in here I have my essential oils inhaler. I have poopery because you never know, you know, you might walk into a bathroom and it might smell atrocious and you're just like, let me just spray this. Um, 
yeah, I've had that happen a few times. I have my little pill cases that I keep like painkillers in like ibuprofen or Tylenol or something. I have my Lumify eye drops, um, a little nail glue in case I have a nail break, tweezers, and this is just the little Tweezerman three tweezer pack and they're just little tiny tweezers. I have a bunch of Advil packets in here. Um, I used to get migraines really bad, but ever since I stopped taking birth control pills, I don't get them anymore. So, um, yeah, I won't be going back on those, but I still carry Advil with me anyway, because I'm so afraid I'll start getting a headache and I won't have something with me. And then I have a panty liner. Um, I have some band-aids. I have oh, salt. Yeah, that's essential. Um, I have my little pocket knife and I have, what else is in? Oh, I also purchased some little alcohol swabs because it's hard to find the antibacterial wipes. So instead of having wipes, I went to the a diabetic section in the pharmacy and I picked up these alcohol swabs and I've just been using those instead. If I have to go grocery shopping, I'll wipe the handle on the cart with them or I'll spray it with my hand sanitizer. Anyway, oh, and then I have uh, this little bitty tiny toothpaste. I think I got this at a hotel that we went and uh, and stayed at while we were on vacation. But oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's like the perfect size. I wish I could find another one of those because it's perfect. Like instead of carrying around the travel size of toothpaste, which in my opinion is still kind of big, then you could just carry one of those and they're perfect and they don't you know, like take up a whole lot of space in your bag. Okay, so that's everything that is in my mini pochette and I am probably going to have to rearrange the stuff in here. Oh, it, it zipped. Okay. So that's everything in there. And then the next thing I have is, oh, okay. So I feel like I finally have found wallet peace. I have been looking for a compact wallet for a while. I had tossed around the idea of possibly getting a Louis Vuitton one, but then I don't really like their wallets that much. And I have one wallet that's Louis Vuitton and it just, it hasn't held up really well. So I didn't want to go back with another Louis Vuitton wallet, but I was at the Prada store um, while we were on vacation and I found this beautiful cognac colored wallet and it has the beautiful Prada emblem on the front. It's in metal. There's nothing on the back. It's a bifold wallet. So it opens up like this. It has three card slots here. And I just keep a picture of my little pumpkin right here. And it has a slip pocket back here. So you can put more cards back there if you want. It has another slip pocket here. It has a snap compartment here, so you can put change if you want, but I just use it for more cards because I use this for my change. And then it has a compartment for bills right here. And one of the nice things about this wallet is that it is wide enough that no matter what country you live in and no matter what currency you carry, it will accommodate it because this is really deep. Um, I know some currency in some countries is a lot wider than what the American dollar bill is. So uh, yeah, so this is good no matter what. And uh, also the card slots. I like the fact that they're not really tight, but they're also not real loose. So you can easily fit two cards in each slot without stretching it out, but it still holds them firmly. So. I love this wallet so much. I'm so glad that I came across it. And I feel like I got a really good price on it too. Um, in comparison to what the Louis Vuitton uh, small compact wallets are, because they're not even leather, like they're canvas and you pay so much money for them. So I highly recommend getting a Prada wallet if you haven't looked at them. The next thing in my bag is my Louis Vuitton PM sized 
cosmetic bag. Um, I don't, I don't think they call them PM, MM, and GM anymore. I think now they're just small, medium, large. But back when I bought this one, it still said PM. So this is the PM size. This is a made in France piece as well. I don't know if you can see that or not. Might not be able to read it. And I just use this for my electronics. So I keep my AirPods in here. I have the charging cable for my phone, the butt for my charging cable, and a stand for my phone in case I want to maybe watch something while I'm eating if I'm by myself or whatever. That's in there. And that's pretty much all that I keep in here now. I just use it as a an electronics pouch. So that's that. The next thing in my bag is, oh, this is the other pair of sunglasses that I bought. So this is uh, Stella McCartney is the brand. And I love this case because it has a nice heavy metal zipper pull that says Stella McCartney. But the case is really soft and it's really thin. So it's not like your regular sunglasses case. Like it's definitely not bulky like this thing. Um, I just, I wish more of them would make them like this. Now, granted, this is not going to protect my sunglasses the way a hard case will, but usually if I'm using these, I'll just lay them on top. So the inside is kind of like a really soft material so that it doesn't scratch your glasses. And I love these sunglasses so much. So I'm not gonna blind you because they're gold, but they have a gold rim around them. And the interior is tortoise, and so are the arms. And let me see if I can just put these on really quick and show you. They're so cute. I really, really love these sunglasses. It's kind of hard to show you without, like, blinding you because I have my ring lights in front of me. Oh, my, God, my, hair, my hair is getting in my eyes. I'm trying to grow my bangs out, and let me tell you what, they're being a bitch right now. It's so hard. I'm at that stage where I'm getting ready to just cut them back off again. So yeah, you might see some videos with me having a bobby pin in my hair. Anyway, so I have these in there. So I bought these and the MCM at the same time because I got such a good deal on them. These are like normally $500, close to $500, the Stella McCartney. And the MCMs I think were almost $400. And I didn't pay anywhere near that for either pair. Like they were really, really marked down. So I got a great deal on them. I couldn't pass it up. The next thing in my bag is another pair of glasses, but these are essential. These are my reading glasses. And if you've watched my videos in the past and you've seen them, these are my Ted Baker reading glasses. Um, this isn't the case that they came in. The case that they came in actually said Ted, uh, Ted Baker on it, but, and the inside was like a really pretty, like Tiffany blue, the same color as this but this is a smaller case and I just you know I was trying to save a little bit of space so this is my reading glasses right here I really like these glasses a lot I mean I just feel like if you have to wear glasses you may as well get cute ones right so um when I found out I had to wear reading glasses that I needed reading glasses I was I was so bummed like I that is like oh my god okay this hair that is like the true sign of aging when you wake up one morning and you realize that you cannot see to read. And that is exactly what happened to me. It literally happened overnight. Um, I found myself like holding my books at arm's length to be able to read them and I was getting sick at my stomach or I'd start getting headaches or start getting really tired like as soon as I would start reading something. And then, you know, knowing me, because it happened so fast, I was like, oh my God, I have a brain tumor because I can't see. And then I went to the doctor and they're like, no, you just need glasses. And so here I have them. So yeah, and let me tell you, it's like once you hit 40, it's all downhill from there, girls. Like seriously, I'm not playing games about it. It's just not a joking matter anymore. Um, yeah, like my sisters tried to tell me and I was like, yeah, yeah, whatever. But no, it's true. It's a true story. The next thing in my bag is my hand sanitizer by Honest Company. I love this stuff. Um, I'm almost out. This one's almost empty. I have about this much left. But luckily, I have 
another one because anytime I buy stuff, I always buy it in pairs. So I never just buy one of something. I always buy at least two. And I'm so glad now that I do that because I wouldn't have any hand sanitizer left if that's what I did. Um, like once this ran out. So again, this is something that's just impossible to find right now. You can't find it on the Bath and Body Works website. You can't find it on the Honest Company website. It's just nowhere. You can't buy it on Amazon because if you try to buy hand sanitizer, Lysol, Clorox wipes, any of that stuff, then it says that it's reserved for essential employees and um, healthcare professionals. So yeah, you can't even purchase it. Like they don't even let you put it in their in your basket to be delivered like months down the road. Like you can't order it, period. So, so glad I have this. This is like liquid gold right now with this coronavirus going on. And I just don't know, like, I don't know when it's gonna end, hopefully soon. And the next thing in my bag is my emergency inhaler. Um, I am asthmatic. I developed asthma as an adult. And so, well, actually as a teenager, I got, I started getting it um, when I was about 17, I was diagnosed with asthma. And so, um, this is my emergency inhaler and trust me, I have had to use this so much lately and you do not want to be in a situation right now with everything that's going on where you start coughing in front of people because they, they'll look at you like you have the plague and yeah, when really all it is, is I just need my inhaler. So yeah, carry this with me everywhere. And I mean, like I'm going anywhere right now, I'm not really going anywhere. I go to the grocery store. And, um, and I think I've gone to like Target, uh, and Walmart, like one or two times since this whole thing started. Like I have been, I have cabin fever, cabin fever so bad right now. I'm sure you guys all feel the same way. The next thing in my bag is, this is my pochette that came with my Neverfull MM obviously in the monogram print, uh, the one with the red interior. And the only thing I keep in here are just like girl things. You know what I'm talking about. And then in the little flap compartment, I have a receipt from TJ Maxx. Oh my God, I miss, I miss going to TJ Maxx so much. I'm just jonesing to go anywhere right now. And then I also have my little trusty purple book that I put all my usernames and passwords in because um, as I've stated in the past, uh, I go to school. I'm a, a student. I'm getting my master's degree. And every 90 days, you have to change the password on your email account and also your login. And I never can remember what I change it to. So that's what that book is for, um, for those email and accounts that are online that I have to change all the time. So this is what's in here. This is also really good if you just want to like run into the grocery store or run into the gas station. You don't want to take your whole bag. You can just, you know, take this. I would also say maybe it's good to take to the club, but I don't know because I would feel kind of iffy about taking something like this because unless you leave it on your wrist, you're going to have to set it down and I would be afraid to lose it or forget it or I don't know. I'm just really paranoid like that. The next thing in my bag is this cute little lemon printed cosmetic bag. I actually found this at Walmart. Like it's rare that I find something at Walmart that I think is super cute, but this is super cute. And I just thought it looked so summery and I love this blue color. It's like a Tiffany blue. And I use this for my lip products because I love carrying lipstick. I love lipstick. And so this just has my, all my lip, oh my gosh, I have, I have a lot of lip products in here. I'll tell you which ones I have. So this is the Winky Lux, and this is the Lavender Lip Balm. So this is one of those tinted lip balms that change color as you uh, as you wear it, and it changes with your chemistry. But look how pretty this is. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. It's like this, it has these flecks of glitter in it. And this one is lavender. It smells so good. They smell like, oh. this one kind of smells like cocoa butter. Or shea butter but they're just they're very pretty and it's clear and I love the little packaging of Winky Lux because it just looks like a little pill capsule so that one is in there this is my City Lips lip gloss this is a lip gloss and also a lip treatment ladies if you are over the age of uh, 30 35 uh, and you are experiencing any kind of problems with your lips whatsoever, if you're experiencing like the lines around them, or even if you just want 
more volume to your lips. Uh, this product is so good. I love this stuff. Like I have seen such a difference in my lips since I started using this. Um, it's a lip treatment, so you can put this on as just a lip gloss during the day. You can put it on over lipstick. Uh, you can put it on under lipstick or before you go to bed at night, which is what I do, you can put this on and you, if you're using it as a lip treatment, then what you do is you put it on and then you also put it slightly above and below your lips so that it treats the skin around your lips as well. So that's this. I absolutely love this stuff. And you have to get this from the City Lips website. And I have like four other colors as well because you can also get... Uh, colors in this stuff. It's not just clear. So that's my City Lips. And then I have another Winky Lux. This is the gloss and this one is in Truffle. Very pretty. Their packaging is so gorgeous. I love it. And this is just a really pretty nude like caramel color. Like a caramel pinkish kind of color. Like a brownish pink. And then I have this L'Oreal lipstick. It's a liquid lipstick in here. It's a really pretty color. I don't know what color it is because it doesn't say it on here anywhere. Like I thought it did, but it doesn't. It doesn't say anything. So I have that. I have this Milani lip product. Uh, it's the Ludacris gloss that they have. Oh, there's something on there. And this is a good dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in the color Kristen. It's actually the exact same color on as that. And it's really creamy and it's uh, it, it has a really nice pigment to it. Like it's not sheer. I have another Winky Lux gloss. This is in the color Juicy. I mean, can we just appreciate how pretty their packaging is? So gorgeous. And this is a nice summery color. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm trying to show you. Okay. And that's again in the color Juicy. And then another Winky Lux. This is a lip balm. This is in the uh, flavor Strawberry. So this looks pink, but it actually goes on clear. It's just a lip balm. It doesn't do anything. So I don't know if I can, there we go. And it smells like strawberries. It smells so good. It smells more like strawberries and cream. It's like so yummy. Very moisturizing too. And then this is a Winky Lux Dreamy, Creamy Dreamies, I think is what it's called. It's their lipstick and it's actually what I'm wearing right now. This is in the color Milkshake, which I don't know why they called this color Milkshake because I've literally never seen a milkshake this color, but that's the name of it. And again, it smells really good. And I like that formula. It's very creamy, but it stays in place. Like it doesn't run all over the place. And then the last thing in here is a lip balm. Uh, the color is Peach Pout and it's by Pixie, the brand Pixie. And it just looks like this. It's a really pretty color. It goes on very sheer, really pretty. And that's all that is inside my lip products bag. I like to have a variety of lip products with me because I change my mind so much. Like I might start the day out with one lip color and then, I don't know, go to the bathroom and look in the mirror and just be like, I'm just not feeling this and change my lip color. So that's happened so many times. I like to have a variety to choose from. So, and I always try to have at least one bold lip color with me now, um, just in case I, you know, I'm going somewhere later in the evening and I'm not going to go home first, then it's easy to change a day to a night look simply by just adding a bold lip. And the next thing in here is this little Louis Vuitton bag. And in here I have a perfume sample from Louis Vuitton. Um, when I bought my Graceful PM that I ended up having to return and then I got this bag in its place. I also bought a Louis Vuitton perfume and I bought the one, um, the Mia Fieu. It's my favorite, I absolutely love it, but I don't wanna just wear it for any reason. Like I'm not gonna squirt it on me and just like walk around the house with it. And okay, all the, okay, I'm guilty, I have done that. But 
maybe only once or twice. So instead of using my big bottle, I use this instead um, because I don't want to just, I don't want to use up my perfume bottle, um, even though you can get it refilled. And if you buy the Louis Vuitton perfume, they'll refill the bottle for half the price. And they also will put your initials on it for you. But this is just a sample. The next thing in here is the bag for my uh, purse. And the reason I keep my bag in here is because in case it starts raining, I can just put my bag inside its dust bag and then I can just kind of cradle it under my arm and, you know, run to the car really quick or run inside really quick, you know, whatever the case may be, my bag will be covered and it will be protected and I don't have to worry about it getting um, like water spots all over it. Uh, because until it develops a good patina, you want to try to keep your bag from getting anything on the leather. I don't treat my bags anymore. Um, I used to treat them with Apple Guard, and then I just stopped treating them because I don't know if it was the Apple Guard that was doing it or what, but the first couple of bags that I had from Louis Vuitton that I treated with Apple Guard, um, I started having problems with like the straps. So I don't know if it's something that the Apple Guard caused or if it was just bad luck, but I didn't want to take any more chances. And the, uh, the Vaquetta will develop a patina. And once the, de the patina develops and it gets a rich patina, it kind of forms its own water repellent properties. So, you know, I'm just going to leave it alone. And until then, until that happens, I just have to be really careful with it. So I don't want to mess it up. So that is everything that is inside the main compartment over here on this D ring. I'm not going to take these off because they're a pain in the butt to get back on, but I have my keys for uh, one of our vehicles and it just has my little lottery charm on it. And then I have my zippered key pouch. And in here I have my car key in here and it's push start. So I just leave it in here. I don't have to actually take that key out. Okay. So on to the zipper in the zipper I have, I don't have a whole bunch of, <clears throat> oh my gosh, what was that? Did you hear my voice crack? I sounded like a 12 year old boy. Okay. So I have some more Advil in here. I don't ever want to be without that stuff. Obviously I have a receipt I have, oh, this is just the little tag for my purse. I don't know why I keep those because I don't plan on ever reselling any of my bags, but for some reason I keep them. Oh, okay, so I bought some of the Winky Lux oil blotting papers and can we just appreciate the beauty of this packaging? Again, I'm such a sucker for pretty packaging. Like I'll buy a product simply because I like the packaging and then I'll get home and the product will suck and I'll never use it, but, um, but luckily they have good products and pretty packaging. So I have their oil blotting sheets. I have my little organza bag that's in all of my what's in my bag videos. Um, in here I keep my pink quartz crystal and this is for uh, cleansing the energy around you, getting rid of negative um, energy. It's for creativity. Pink quartz is pretty much an all-purpose quartz, um, or an all-purpose crystal. You can use it for pretty much any purpose. It's um, it's a good one to carry around with you. So if you're unsure and you want to get into crystals and you don't know what one you should carry around with you, you can't go wrong with pink, quart pink quartz. Oh my gosh, I'm so thirsty right now. So. I don't know if I mentioned this at the beginning of the video, but I had to redo this because I was chewing a piece of gum in the first one. And now I'm like, I'm not going to chew gum. I'm not going to take a drink of anything. I'm not going to do anything that might even semi be annoying because I'm not filming this again. So now I'm just super thirsty anyway. And then here's the little rock that my son found on the beach for me. It's so pretty. My lighting is kind of washing it out. And then on the back side, it kind of has an indentation where you can just like rub it with your thumb. So it's kind of like a thinking stone. Um, but I just love it. And my little boy thought that, uh, you know, it was special enough to give to his mama. So I think it's special enough to carry it around with me everywhere. And that's what I do. So they're in this little organza bag. And then I have another key pouch, not a key pouch, what the hell's wrong with me? 
another Louis Vuitton pouch. This has my keys in it for the lock that's on my bag. And then last but not least in this little zippered pouch is my home alarm fob. This is to disarm and arm my home alarm um, when I'm getting home or as I'm leaving. So that is what is in there and that completes, that's just the little sticker. So that is everything that is in my bag. So, okay, a couple of things about the bag. So I love this bag. I got lucky. I did find a made in France bag. I got super lucky, actually. You're probably not going to be able to see that because these lights are just washing everything out. But um, I got really lucky because it's made in France. And not only that, but it met all of my criteria. So for me, when I'm looking at these bags, I don't like it when there's wrinkles on these side pieces of leather. And every time I would ever look at one of the monogram speedies in the bandelier, these side straps always looked like a wreck. And so I never would buy them or there'd be something wrong with one of the chaps or the handles would look screwed up or ew, there was always something wrong. I could never find one that just looked perfect to me. So when I finally found this one and I saw it and it was perfect, I was like, oh my God, I'm getting it. And then to add to it, it was made in France. So I was super excited about that. Currently I am keeping my lock on the zipper pull. So let me close it for you so you can see what it looks like zipped. Okay. So so I have the lock on the front and this is where I've been keeping it for now. Um, I don't know if I'm going to continue to keep it on the zipper because I don't know, it's kind of getting scratches on it already from going back and forth across the zipper. I don't really care because it's just the lock. Um, it doesn't bother me, but I really would rather put it here, but I'm afraid that with this rubbing up against the leather, it's gonna leave a black mark and I don't want that to happen. So that's why I haven't put it here, which is where I have it on my Damier Ben Speedy. Um, yeah, so I just, I don't know. I haven't put it there yet, but that's really where I want to put it. So maybe once this starts developing more of a patina, I may take it and move it over here. Um, we'll see, I don't know. That's to be determined. But I love this bag. It can fit so much stuff in it. I mean, you can put your whole damn life in here. It's great for travel because you can just, you can fit everything in here. I mean, I had all that stuff in there and I still had room left. Like if I wanted to put a change of clothes in here, I could have. So it's great to use for travel. You can use it as your personal item um, when you board a plane. And then, you know, have your carry on and that would probably be enough if you're just going somewhere for like two, three, four days. And so I absolutely love this uh, purse. I highly recommend it. This is the bag that started my obsession when I was about 15 years old. It's the first time I saw the Speedy and fell in love with it. Um, of course, back then they didn't have the bandelier version, but I still love it so much. Like I, I actually like this better. Oh, and something else I didn't mention. I do have all three pieces on here currently. I don't normally keep all three pieces on and I don't normally use all three pieces. Um, on my Damier Aben, I don't use the third piece like hardly ever. I think maybe I've used it two or three times and I've had that bag for a year now. Um, but the reason I have all three pieces on here now is because I want them to patina evenly. I don't want to pull this out to use it if I want to. And then this is super light and these are, you know, patina to like a honey golden color. So I am keeping this on here for now until it develops a pretty good base patina. Because like I said, I just don't want, I don't want it to patina unevenly. So, and I have used this bag crossbody. Um, this bag is a lot more comfortable crossbody than my Damier Aben because this leather is a lot softer. But I will also say that that's also going to depend on 
how much you put in your bags because I put a ton of stuff in my bags. I like to have everything with me all the time. And so just the, the mere fact that I have so much stuff in my bag, that's going to make it heavy in itself. So yeah. So anyway, um, I do use it crossbody because I have the third piece in here and I'm only five foot four. So, um, it is a little bit long if I just wear it on my shoulder. Um, but yeah, normally I would just use the two pieces and just use it on my shoulder, but I can't do that right now. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you are on the fence about getting the Speedy 30, I urge you to get it. I highly recommend this bag. I love it. It's um, it's a beautiful bag. It's very iconic. You know, whenever somebody says Louis Vuitton, this is the bag you think about or the Neverfull. Um, and it's usually the monogram print that you think about. And uh, yeah, and this was the bag that, like I said, started my love affair with Louis Vuitton. So anyway, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love it if you would subscribe and join my YouTube family. If you do decide to describe, describe, subscribe, oh my gosh. If you would like to subscribe, don't forget to push the notification bell down below so that you're notified anytime I upload a new video, which um, I don't upload real often, maybe once a month. Um, yeah, anyway, so I'm going to try to upload more often now, but uh, it just depends. I have a really hard time getting my videos to upload, and I get so annoyed with that. So it's like I'll do a video, and then I won't be able to get it to upload, and then I just get pissed off and just delete it and just, or like, forget it. So anyway, so I'll try to start uploading more often, and I am going to be doing a comparison video between the Monogram and the Damier Aben because there's a lot of people who are on the fence about what canvas to get. So anyway, so stay tuned um, and keep your eye open for that video, and I hope you're all staying safe and staying home. We're going to all get through this together, and hopefully this um, pandemic will be over with soon, and we can resume life as normal um, or as normal as it can get back to after going through something like this, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. <music>